All right, barium fluoride, barium fluoride. There's the KSP reaction for it. What could I do to the solution to make barium fluoride less soluble, to decrease the solubility? What could I add to the solution to make it less soluble? Yeah, add either one of these, common ion effect, right? Add barium ions into the solution, it's going to shift it left. Add fluoride ion solution, it'll shift it left. Right, because notice soluble refers to how much dissolves, how much solid dissolves to the right. So if we're shifting left, that means overall less solid will remain dissolved. Cool. So my question then is, how could I shift this equilibrium to the right? Could I add more solid? No, solids don't shift equilibria, right? So, but I could remove products. So let's say I had a beaker with this saturated solution in it. And let's say I told you I had a magic formula that turned fluoride ions into frogs. And I went, abracadabra! And all these frogs just started jumping out of the beaker till all the fluoride was gone. Because I did that, what happened to the concentration of fluoride in the beaker? It went down. So which way is this equilibrium going to shift? To the right to make more fluoride. Well, i got a little secret for you. I don't actually have a magic formula for turning fluoride into frogs, just so you know. But I do know how to turn fluoride into something else. Because I know that fluoride, being an anion and not being negligible, is a what? A base. And what do bases react with? Acid. Sweet. So add any acid. I don't really care which one. And what's F minus going to turn into? HF. So I didn't turn it into a frog, but I did turn it into something besides F minus. And so because I added acid, what happens to the overall concentration of F minus in the solution? It goes down. And so what happens to this equilibrium? Shifts to the right. So notice barium ions. They're group two, so they are negligible. And so overall, we should have recognized that this is what kind of salt? A basic salt. We've just learned a little demonstration of a larger principle. Basic salts are more soluble when you add what? Acid. The converse is also true. A basic salt is less soluble when you add base. Awesome. So barium fluoride being basic salt, it's more soluble when the pH is low and less soluble when the pH is high. Okay. If you have an acidic salt, guess what's true about acidic salts? When are they more soluble? When you add base. And when are acidic salts less soluble? When you add acid. Now, what if, on the other hand, I had something like, technically this thing's probably pretty darn soluble, but what if I had this guy? What kind of salt is he? Barium ions are negligible. And he comes from a strong acid, so he's negligible. So what kind of salt is this? Neutral. So what kind of pH do I want for him? It doesn't matter. His solubility is not affected by pH at all. High pH, low pH, neutral pH, whatever, his solubility is going to be roughly the same regardless because he's not going to react with an acid or a base because these aren't acidic or basic at all. So you might get a question. You might say, you might get a question now that says, which of the following is most soluble in acid? Well, then look for a basic salt. Or you might get, which of the following is most soluble in base? Well, then look for an acidic salt. Or you might get a question that says, which of the following has a solubility that is most unaffected by a change in pH? And then you're looking for the negligible salt, the neutral salt in that case. So that whole thing about salts, cations, anions, which ones are acidic for cations versus negligible for anions, which ones are basic versus negligible, it shows up in the acid-base chapter and shows up again in solubility. You will probably have at least one or two questions out of the 25, roughly 10% of your test, on that one concept. Know it, know it well. It's conceptual, it's not a calculation, but you really need to know it. It's a little confusing at first, but work through a few examples, it gets a lot easier. Questions. Sweet. How many of you guys have ever been at church this late in your whole life? <laughs> cool. Have a great night, guys. Sorry for keeping you so late.